Hi everyone, my name is Fian and I will be walking you through setting up a Tutor Cruncher socket for client inquiries. This is a website plugin which will allow your prospective clients to submit inquiries to your business and have their profiles created in your client pipeline on Tutor Cruncher. So to start off with today, I have just set up a basic shell account here on Wix. So this is just one of their standard templates. I'll take you through the step-by-step -step here. So the first thing that you want to do in this case is add, go down into more here and you want to add a custom embed for HTML frame. Now I'm using Wix today because their free version allows loading of JavaScript, which is necessary for the Tutor Cruncher website plugins to work. Other popular sites like Squarespace, which is one we often recommend, um, and also WordPress have similar processes for these, but that functionality is only available on their business accounts. So just one thing to be aware of as you go into it. So here I want to set up my HTML frame. And let's make it a little bit bigger here. So our inquiry form has a bit more room. And in this HTML frame, we have the option to enter code. So this is the custom code that we want to put in, and we do want code rather than a website address. So now the next step is to find out what code you add. And to find that out, I'm going to go here to dinotutors.com which is an example site that we've set up to show you how some of our integrations work. So I am going to go here to socket examples. And today we're setting up an inquiry form. So I'm going to go into the basic inquiry form example. This is what it's going to look like. And up here we have the code. And all you want to do right now is copy that code and paste it into your HTML frame here on Wix. So that's loaded. So that's an easy win to start off with. Now we'll need to change this a little bit because right now it isn't personalized to our account. So if we were to look at the code we copied and pasted in here, you'll see that it has a string of numbers that identifies what Tutor Cruncher account it works with. The one set up on our example account here is just an example one, so we'll show you an example inquiry form, but that's not gonna send inquiries to your Tutor Cruncher account yet, so we have to link the two up. And the way we do that is we replace that string of numbers, which we call a public API key, with a public API key that we give you on your Tutor Cruncher account. So let's find that, copy it, and we can paste it into our Wix site. So over here, I have Fionn's proper company set up. This is my Tutor Cruncher account, which is linked to the front end website. And I am in system settings. And to get that public API key, I'm just gonna go right to the bottom here go into API integrations. And right now I don't have anything set up yet. So yours will probably be the same. The first thing you wanna do is add socket integration. So that's created, simple as that. And now we can click on the socket integration to get more details about it. So this tells us all we need to know about our socket integration. And what we're looking for to copy into our Wix site here is a public key, which is listed on this site here. So let's copy this, go back to Wix, edit that code that we put in, and I'm just going to replace our example public API key with the one specific to my account. I'm going to update it and you notice that this form 
will change and we've gotten an error message. So important to have a look at what this error message says. This one is that the website that we're loading it on doesn't match the allowed domains. So this is a useful one to go through because this will probably happen to a lot of you when you're starting out, especially if you're using an editor like this. So what we mean when we say that it doesn't match allowed domains is that we will only load Socket. So the, the website plugin will only load this website plugin on sites that you want it to load on. So if your competitor decided to set up a, a website integration with your account on their own website, they couldn't do it because you wouldn't have said that they're allowed. So you have to allow everyone who's going to use that domain to, to see two different sites. So in order to fix this, I'm just going to go back into our settings, into socket integrations. Oh, I'll take you on the journey here again. So it's right down the bottom. API integrations, we're clicking on the socket integration that we set up. And you see here we have allowed domain. So this is what we want to change. So let's edit this. And in our allowed domains here, let's refer back to our Wix site. You see some of the information that this error message is giving us. So it is saying that the current origin, and then it gives this address, does not match the allowed domains. So let's edit this. I'll tell you what, let's do a preview so we can copy and paste. Take out the domain that they're giving us. Copy that and add it to our list of allowed domains. We save that. Now we can go back to our Wix site and we refresh this. So I set this up on the More About Me page. Let's have a look at More About Me. And you'll see now we have our inquiry form loading. So we have our inquiry form. We specified the domain that we wanted to load at. Once it's published to your website, this probably won't be an issue anyway, but if you want to view it in the editor, it's important to just copy that message from the error response that you might get and put it into the allowed domains. So this is our basic inquiry form, but we can add more to this and you'll have noticed on our example site that this inquiry form had some more details. So it had a how did you hear about us drop down and the option for people to specify a time and date for a free trial lesson. But this one just basic fields. So it's just name, email, phone number, and student name, terms, conditions, and a little verification of authenticity down there with reCAPTCHA. So if we want to add to this, maybe we want to add fields, maybe we want our client to specify what tutoring subjects they're interested in. So let's set that up. Let's add that to this inquiry form. So I'm going to go back to Tutor Cruncher here. I'm go, going to go back to System and Settings again. And I am going to go to custom fields, then here under system customization, custom fields. So custom fields are your own unique bits of information that you want to record on people's profiles or on jobs or lessons. Today, we are interested in recording information on client profiles because clients are the ones who are going to be submitting those inquiries. So let's add our own new custom field. <clears throat> and let's call this custom field subject of interest. And the help text underneath this field is going to be please choose which subject interests you the most. This applies to clients and to the ones who we want to store that information on. And in terms of type, we have a good few options here. So we have check boxes and text boxes and numbers and stars. I think today it might make sense for us to do this as a drop down with a few options. We can say whether or not this field is required, whether or not we want to see it when we look at lists of users altogether, 
whether or not we want to be able to filter through our, our clients based on this information. But the two most important fields for us with regards to setting up the socket to your website are client access, which we want to turn on. So that means that clients can see the information and they can edit it. And then, of course, this one down here, this checkbox for inquiry form. And that decides whether or not it shows on the inquiry form. And it's important to have both of those ticks if you want the options to come through. So let's add a few drop down options. So, say so we have math, we have English, and we have science. Let's just leave it at those three for now. Drop down options just where you specify what choices the client has on that drop down menu when they're filling in those fields. So we can save that. And now let's head back to Wix here and have another look at our page. So more about me. See this integration. So there we go. We have our basic fields and the custom field that we've added, which we've called subject of interest. And there are all options. If we go to our preview here, we'll see this as a client would see it when they're on your site. You can choose to the drop down, they can add their information above. So that was how to set up the Tutor Cruncher inquiry form on your website. If you have any questions, you can always contact your support, and I hope you find our written docs useful as well. All the best with getting your website set up, and I'm sure we'll be chatting to you soon. Bye-bye.